In the building. Yo! We're in the building with motherfucking Gary McDonald. And this is the hey. Chop of Power. Hey, man. He got a new book out, man. Mm -hmm. Unarmed 2032, man. Yes, sir. What is that? The alt uh, Alternative Future? Alternate Future. Alternate yeah. Future. Excuse me. Sixth grade education. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You doing well. You doing well. Hey man, you know I'm gonna improv the shit out of this motherfucker. Yes, sir. G man, thanks for coming, brother. Appreciate you for inviting me. Man, what inspired this new new book, man? Um, all these murders, unarmed murders, assassinations, you name it. We've been seeing it live on TV, Facebook, Instagram, and we've been seeing it real time. Real so time. After seeing it so many times, over and over, over and over. And just trying to wrap my head around it. These people like this and they getting killed. They running away, getting shot eight, nine times in the back. I'm like, they got to be a reason for it. Or maybe the government or whoever knows something about these people that we don't know. Right, right. So that's what inspired this book, the movie The Terminator, the first Terminator from 1984. That's what inspired the book? Right. Wow. Because in Terminator, they were hunting down the mama so the son couldn't be born. Right. The robot, he was a cyborg. Right. He was going all like he was killing everything in the movie trying to look for this lady no doubt no right doubt. so yeah that's where i got the inspiration from from that movie damn man how long this book been in the making uh as far as far as putting it out getting it out of front to the people oh i just published it um in april april mm -hmm. you wrote this book how long ago you, i'm sure february february early in the year yeah, yeah like six seven months, months whatever that's five three months Right, four yeah, months. It took two months to write because every time I would turn the news on, I would write more stuff. Now, gotcha. every morning, another person dying. So I'm oh like, God damn, do I put all of them in one book? Or right. Do I finish this with the first group of people that they killed? Right, right. And I'm on to the second one, Unarmed 2 already, called The Puppet Master. Damn, The Puppet Master? Yeah, it showed a dude that's controlling all the strings and why all this happening. Man, Gary, you a real inquisitive dude, man. After working with you on Jimmy Spade, man, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, man, you deep, man, and you dead. You, you woke. Right. You woke, man. So where did you get that from, man? The wokeness, man. Shit, I grew up, you know, I was born in 75, but I grew up, you know, with them dudes and listen to Tribe Called Quest and, mm -hmm. you know, Jay-Z and all those boys, and they was on something different from you know, JT Bunny and right, you know right. what I'm saying? They was on something different. So, you know, just being able to read between the lines, listen to music, pay attention to riddles, know what life about. You can see between the lines, you can see the blinders over some people's eyes and some people don't even see it. Like mm -hmm. with the Twin Towers, 90% mm -hmm. of the world say it was a false flag attack. The United States did it to their own shit. Right. And for a building to fall down in 10 seconds, that tall, 100 right. stories, right. that's demolition, right? Right. So people still, right? Right. And demolition. they show different demolitions mm -hmm. that can happen over time. Right. All the buildings, no matter how tall they were, they fell within 10 to 13 seconds. Clap. Flat. Yeah. Boom. To the ground. Yeah. Without flipping over, falling yeah. onto other buildings. And that's what happened in that one. Mm -hmm. And so, well, that's why I got a tattoo on my back with the planes running into the Twin Towers because, you know, a lot of people died that day, but a lot of the stuff go back to the stuff that they doing, the stuff that they know exists. And like I say, with this, dude, this book, they looked into the future. Mm -hmm. So imagine how much other, and this is a real machine, the Hadron Collider. That's a real machine. What's you say that again, G? Hadron Collider, H-A-D-R-O-N-C-O-L-L-I-D-E-R. -L -L -E so this machine exists? Yeah. Where is it? In Belgium. Belgium. Right. And what does it do? When they put it together, that end and that end, uh -huh. they connect and they run particles through it. Okay. And those particles collide and they're able to look into the future. Get the fuck out of yeah. here. And time travel. Oh yeah. my God, man. Yeah, they're able to time travel and all right now. So even, I ain't get to it yet in this book, it was gonna be in one of my other ones, but these dudes, I use Biff, for example, on Back to the Future. Okay. Remember Biff got the book? Okay. Yeah. And they got it from Michael J. Fox. Right. He got the book, he got all the numbers and went to the future and he right. built that empire. Right. Same shit. Imagine all these crackers keep coming billionaire, being overnight. You're like, I ain't never heard of bruh. Yeah. One of they using this technology, yeah. traveling in time, getting the lottery numbers or whatever, right. and coming back here. I mean, the average person be like, oh, that's 
I ain't trying to go down the rabbit hole, right? Mm -hmm. But I think Elon Musk is an alien. Man, listen. I think that dude is an alien or something. I wouldn't put it past him. And I know this shit probably will come out years later. Like, what do you right. say he's an alien? But I just don't understand. He made a rocket that... I read an article the other day, right? Mm -hmm. This shit sound weird to go about. He charged 40 to 60 grand to our U.S. government, right? Mm -hmm. It may be more. 40 to 60 grand to our U.S. government per astronaut. Mm -hmm. We send up six astronauts at a time. Right. And he paid, we, our government pays him per astronauts to go up there so we ain't got to run, our, run our, our space shows. Right. Through NASA. How is that fucking possible, bro? Now, I don't want nobody to get them misunderstood. They lost a contract. Why would we pay? They lost a contract. An outside entity when we've been doing this for so long. Because they lost a contract with Outer Space. That boy, he got his contract. Fucking they crazy, got space man. money and all, bro. I see. What a name. He take people out of space for $200,000. Richard Branson on his spaceship. If you got that bread, you sign a non-disclosure. You can't right. tell what if you, you saw. Die or whatever. Right, you can't tell what you saw out there. They take people out of there for two hundred thousand. I bro. believe it, bro. If you got that bread, imagine what you can see. Yeah. Come on, bro. And, and the reason I said I understand because he created a rocket mm -hmm. that go up and land. SpaceX. Right. What Gold the fuck, right nigga? Alien. You shit. telling me we our astronaut, our 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 our, 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 our space science. This dude just trumped that shit by a hundred years. Right. Making a rocket that'll go up and come back down and land on his ass on the same spot that it left from. Right. What the fuck they do that at? Mm -hmm. This dude the alien, man. I said it, and I stand on it. Okay. Well, you got alien technology, boy. Right. Cause ain't no fucking way. But they said Nostradamus and all them dudes just like them, they was able to tap into them people and they was able to get them all these gifts and the people that listen and the people that know, they giving it to mm -hmm. them but who who listening? Like even with my books, he was like, "Damn, how the fuck you keep coming out these bitches back?" Bro, I don't know where this shit coming from, but like I say, I just I feel that shit and I just write, yeah. and it's coming out like in a month, two months, like a whole book done, and people like chopping them up, like, "Man, he would bro I'm running through boxes of these books," and that's just in Florida. I even going to the airport, people that's coming in, I be like, where you going there? Oh, California, where you going? Michigan. I get it as a free book so they can take that bitch back with them. Where the fuck they going? Mm. I want that bitch to be in those states. I can't get to all of them, so exactly, I'm sending this exactly, shit the exactly, best way I can. Exactly. Let me ask you, mm. I see you started with a cover. That's you on the cover, right? Me and my daughters, right? Both of you They daughters. got their foot one in, one out of the future. Right, so I, I was, I was going to pick it back on that. I was going to say that how you started the book cover and then you you ended the book cover with the machine that's right. the time travel machine. Right. That's some dope shit, bro. Thinking outside the box. That's some that dope shit to end it like that. Started okay, right. the 2032. Why you went with 2032? Because that's the year that the system was supposed to take over um, when Black Lives Matter and the resistance broke up. Like I said, the resistance was a little bit more radical and. They had smoke with everybody. They ain't give a fuck who they were dropping bombs on. They ain't give a fuck who they was thrashing. Mm -hmm. They was they was about that. They got tired of the government shitting on people, killing people, and they was upset. And they were like, man, we down for whatever. Like anything goes with them niggas. Like even look at their names, bro. Imagine being a part of the government and you ain't able to see into the future. All these people died. Captain Trayvon Martin. He was a pilot. Okay. Lieutenant Jordan Davis. Officer Jonathan Farrell. Um, registered nurse Renisha McBride, okay. engineer Jermaine McBean, he was the dude walking down at Fort Lauderdale when BSO encountered him. He had an air rifle and earbuds in the end, they chopped Buddy up. He was an engineer. Sergeant Eric Gardner, that buddy from New York where they came and choked Big Buddy out. Cigarettes. He was a sergeant in the resistance. Mm. Dr. Luquan McDonald, that's a little 16 year old jit that was walking down the street and the police just lit him up seven times. All these people had a life. Like, when you open the book, all of us start out in 2032. Trayvon got two twin sons. It's their birthday. He's saying happy birthday to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of us start out in the future. Then it dropped back to when they're about to be killed mm -hmm. or whoever's stalking them. The government got a machine outside of this machine. They have something called a body transfer facility where they lay in a machine like Avatar. Mm -hmm. Whatever police close to Rhonda, close to Chuck them, they're able to manipulate that police into these murders. Mm. So the person laying in the machine like Avatar. The science, the sci-fi, right? Right. Okay. So they lay in the machine like on the movie Avatar, and they're able to control the police. The police 
don't know this about to happen to them, but you know, got Wi Fi. I got you. Um, the program. G5 tape. Infrared. Bro, they able to jump into you and make you shoot her, make you shoot me. Mm. They don't know they be in control, but that's why I call a second on the puppet master, because he in control of all that. He mm. picking out who he want. He you got think this. What's going on, G? I do. Really? I do. It's a fucking rap. You gonna be with nine, ten times in the back? I, I, Orlando Castillo said, I got my gun right here. Man, they dumped in the car with the man daughter. That was insane. That was all insane. All that got to be on video. Now imagine how many white supremacists and racists that keep funding that shit. Man, do it. We'll get you off. Bitch, buddy just got 22 and a half. They say he only got to do 15. I thought that was insane. And here, we don't get to hear what happens to the police. We hear they go out to prison, the ones that do get found guilty. And here they get their karma. They getting shamed. They washing nigga draws, all that. You got the girl in there that uh, shot the guy. Man, the Geiger, all that. Yep. They getting their That's karma in here. Geiger, yeah. Oh, yeah, they washing nigga draws. The one nigga he killed, I forgot who it was. But the dude recognized him. He said, bro, you look familiar. You you killed the black dude reason like no bro that's not me um I come from a little hick town I'm on here for scamming you like nah bro you look familiar so hey Ronald go get me the cell phone out the room they in prison mm -hmm. she go get the phone hey pull up who shot Laquan McDonald bro that's him bro so the nigga put the phone man they shake the shit oh up. man that's part of you'll it. see what I'm talking about hey man I can't you'll wait see, to get yeah, I went you. real wild with this one right here real wild. Who, who Hopefully y'all love it. Hopefully it'll be a Netflix movie or something real soon. I can see it being a movie though. That shit's dope. crazy. Dope, no, man. we can make it a movie, you know. Yeah, man. but that that right now, yeah, so because it started out in the future. Ooh. We'll figure it out. Maybe you better believe it. There's a will, there's a way. I know a place with a big ass green right. screen. Let's make right. it happen, man. We got the resources to do it. Hey, man. Your network is your network. Right. You better believe it. Well, Gee, man, stuff. it's the latest book. Yeah. When the book came out? April. April. Mm hmm. June, July, August. Oh, okay. Last month. Well, a month or so ago. Right. Three months ago. Three April, months. May, June, July. Yeah, we in July. I'm okay. bad July. at timing. I'm bad at timing. Yeah, it's doing real good. It's doing so, real good. Yeah. Wow, man. I can't wait to read this motherfucker. Could I listen to it, I listen to it on Amazon? On, on, on Amazon? On? I want to do it. And that's another thing I want to give it to you with. People keep saying I need to do an audible. And that's what I, all my my, books. I listen to all audibles. I right. listen to all audibles. They were like, man, you need your voice. They were like, yeah, you need to be yeah, in the studio and put audibles. that bitch in your voice, right? Because I, I do, from my, uh, what I do for a living, I can't really actually pick up a book. And I never really was that book dude. Mm -hmm. But audibles, I find audibles, man. I done read in this last six months, man. I done read like nine books, man. That's hard. And see, well, not read, I guess. I mean, people say I'm the cheating. same thing. Yeah, but motherfuckers say you're cheating because you ain't pick the book up and read. I don't have audio. I mean, it's, it's the audible, same, audible. Like the What's on here? I do too. The same thing is gonna be on the audible. I like audible too, bro. Yeah. And I get caught up in audible. I, sometimes I feel like I'm that character. Right. With audible books, I feel like I'm that person, man. It's just weird how I feel. Like she finna open the door. She walks in. She see him. She sees her husband pulling the left tit out. Right. You feel like you that nigga. Right. Like I'm finna pull it out. Walking you through that shit, right? Yeah, it's just weird, dog. You just feel like you that person. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, the last book I read, Miracle, Miracle on Helmsley Street, and uh, not to drive off, not to uh, get away from what we're talking about, mm -hmm. but it was a, a the girl, the black woman went back to take care of her dad. Uh, mama died, and he went she took care of her dad. Her dad was struggling this and that way. She moved into a building she didn't want to move into. A, the building where her dad lived at, her house the dad lived in, she, right. she moved in the building up the street and she just checked on her dad every day. She ended up sleeping with somebody oh, in the building. Mm -hmm. She ended up sleeping with somebody in the building. Long story short, the wife found out. It was just, it was a dope read. Right. And I got caught up in the book. You understand know what I'm saying? So what well, I'm saying all that to say is, uh, Gary, um, put your books on Audible, man. Right. Definitely. Yeah, man, be a plus. Got to get in the studio. Yeah, uh, yeah. You ever read Spook that said by the front door? Of course. Dope I talk book. about that book all the time. Dope book. Uh, Forty Laws of Power. Yeah. I don't read That's that book. That's a throwback. Um, um, uh, uh, the Art of War. Yeah. Robert Sense Green. Right. Yeah. I don't read all those books, man. I've been getting in the books lately, man. It's crazy yeah, though. Like I say, they say you want to hide something from black people, put it in the book. Who gonna fucking read it? But again, bro, you know what's ironic that. 
since I've been writing these books, and I just started writing it for COVID. I, shit, I thought we were going to die. We were going to be in the house for a long time. So yeah. I just writing and just give people something to do yeah. while we sit in the house. I'm like, shit, if we don't die and I keep living, I got all these books written, and I'll make some money off the shit. Right, so, right. Yeah, that's where I went with it. But, yeah, I'm like, man, we live one time. How many people say they got a book? Like, most people be thinking about it, but they just won't. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I, and I work just like everybody else, but I come home and dedicate my time to these thoughts. No doubt, bro. Man, I'm proud of you, brother. Thanks, I mean, what number book this is, LJ? Three. Number three. Man, y'all know it's a black man out here, black right, man? Right, real soon, the public master, hood, man. Right. In my hood, that actually right, that pick a pen up, man. I don't know right. a lot of guys like you. Right. I really don't, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is, and that's inspiring, bro. Right. Thanks, sir. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Definitely will. I'm a supporter of this guy, through. Gary McDonald, man. He he helped me in writing fucking Jimmy Spades, man. Y'all check for that too, it's man. It's gonna be something serious, trust me. For sure, for sure. Rodney gonna haunt this boy. Hey, man. She get home and read it tonight, man. And start on it tonight. She might get one page in. Right. Also, nobody <laughs> had. They haven't read it yet. See why I get one page in. I'm fucking with her right now. I thought she was gonna say some wild shit just now. She's looking at something. So, y'all haven't read it yet. Oh, that's the rocket? Yeah, SpaceX? SpaceX, yeah. Yes. I've, never, I've, I've never, I mean, I, I never. He even went on Saturday Night Live recently and endorsed Dogecoin. That's Dogecoin? Yeah. He endorsed that bitch live with his mama on TV. That's the thing. Now, whatever yeah. y'all do, man, just go get y'all the IRA. I'm going to support the IRA. Right. Get you some money. Put you some money away. Or a Roth IRA. Yeah, a Roth right. or a Roth. Right. That's what I just got Roth to. Right. Yeah. But, uh,. I, that shit he got going on, man, I believe he got an alien. Oh, who, who got, this man got Tesla where they go on underground now and take your car, man. They what? All right, they take your car, like you riding on the ground, on 95, and you get on this certain lane and your car go underground, that they take you to like airports and stuff. Like a train. Yeah, basically. but underground, underground Tesla's train. though, it drive you, you can't control it, it drive itself. I listened to Joe Rogan yeah, one night when he was talking shit. about that. Joe Rogan, he was saying he was, drilling, he was digging in his his warehouse space, he had a big ass facility, and he was digging, and he was setting that up, but he said he had, had issues with the uh, the county and the city about right. fucking digging up that deep to try to build that. They always gonna talk shit, but because they not used yeah. to that kind of technology. This man a way, he way ahead You're of his time. fucking alien, man. Way ahead of his time. Nigga, yeah. tell me no different. You an alien. The shit you doing right but now, it's man. It's Asperger's, but it's, it's more than that. It's like deeper, he getting bro. technology from, yeah. If you ever hear that shit, man, I believe you something from some another planet. You come out with these kind of propelled rockets that take off and come and right back, back on, on the fucking spot. That's damn near impossible. Not even to mention In the this fuel. Time. I'm, I'm, not to I mention the fuel, it. dog. I just saw right. it. It's electric. Bro. Right. Not to mention the fuel, that's bro. Like Tesla. That's Tesla was on electric. everything electrical. Tesla had, he was designing spaceships before they killed him. The family still say to this day they killed him because he, man, this man was for the takeover shit. Look at the That was his ancestors though. Yeah. They were talking, talking about how the pyramids are aligned and that they were some type All of- All of them go to the stars. The Orion stars, the Pallides, line up perfect. I'm talking about- And they put gold to at the top team. of them. Something- It's energy. That's where energy come from. Man, them people shoot past the, those are markers. They got markers all over the United States with pyramids yeah. that they left for us. So ask questions and and to probably yeah. continue on the legacy, yeah. but they was like, no, they, yeah. this knowledge stopped with us. Oh yeah, they yeah. burn up everything, they chop up everything. We're they a fucking the rabbit hole right now, man. Yeah. They what? Chop the nose off the sphinx. We're like, a rabbit hole, nigga. Yeah, we they way deep in the rabbit hole. Take all our knowledge and get rid of like the Bible had a book of Enoch that talk about aliens and spaceships. They got that shit out the Bible. We don't want these motherfuckers knowing Today. that shit. Yeah, they took that out of the Bible. Check it out. The book of Enoch. Because they don't want us to know how powerful we can be. Bro, could you imagine if all of us sat here in this room and, just, and put our heads together, literally. Like, stuck our heads yeah. together. Bro, I'm talking about people probably could move some shit and do some... Just by us sitting in the room, we could bounce energy and ideas off each other. Productive oh, shit. You see how we got excited? Bounce. I'm just like, Brr, I want to pour that into you. Da, da, da. Like, it's... I, I, I already knew I was weird. I've been probably... I know I was I know I'm an idiot. Facts. I'm not of this world. I ain't no alien, nigga. 
I'm gonna tell you right now. I ain't no human. All of us are. We I ain't from human. the Nibiru. I'm privileged. Bro, right now, if we was no oxygen in this room and you cut us open, bitch, ain't nothing green coming out of us. Ain't no red. When Rick, when your shit turn red, that's from the oxygen hitting your blood. All of us got blue and green. You can look at your veins. Yeah, all of us got blue, blue blood, blue green, green blood. Yeah. You can Google that. Like, all of us got green blood, bro. Until that bitch hit the L. Man, your shit turn red. I've heard that. Facts. I've heard but that. But your shit is green. Alien green. Mm. Facts. There it is. Yo! Gary McDonald, man. Hey. Man, look here, man. Y'all see the book, man. This dude active in the streets, man. What is this? The Unarmed 2013 and the Alternative. 2032. Yeah. So Alternate like, future. Man, I'm behind times. Yeah. Man. Yes, sir. Man, I think about you and my pickup truck. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother. <laughs> hey, nigga, gonna think that nigga be tripping. They be tracking. They be doing some other shit. Sure. But man, quick, give us a quick synopsis, man. G on how to close out this book, man, and what people can expect out of this book. Um, different twists and turns. Um, like I said, science fiction, reality, um, the end of it, the thug life chapter. Um, it's gonna be real good. Uh, the space station chapter is like really, really good. And y'all gonna see like a different side of where this book turn and where it go. And like I said, part two is being worked on now. I'm almost finished. It's called The Puppet Master. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think. Leave reviews on Amazon. You can get all three books on Amazon, but make sure y'all leave a review for this one. Like I said, this is my perspective and this is how I see what's going on. Every time they shoot a black male, female kid, with their hands up, running away, not posing a threat. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm thinking about the movie The Terminator. So, yeah. that's what it is. How they can find you, G? Instagram, Convicted Conversations. Uh, my podcast, Convicted Conversations podcast on iHeartRadio, Google, Apple, Stitcher, um, you name it. Um, Facebook, Gary McDonald. And just hit me up. Like I said, go on Amazon, you get all three books. Y'all heard what he said, man. Gary McDonald, man, the author, man. Yes, sir. A writer. For real. It's for real. For real. This for is real. the Chop Up Hour. I'm fat, man. Y'all go like and subscribe, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all hit that button, man. I need that in my life. Right. The Chop Up Hour, Gary McDonald. I am fat, man. And we out. Yo! Hey. There it is.